Here is the Terex RH400 hydraulic excavator. It's the biggest machine of its type. Nobody else has built anything as big or as powerful as that. The Terex RH400 is a pioneer. It, it's pushed the boundaries of technology. Terex designed and built this machine so it could lift a staggering 85 tons of earth in a single scoop. That's like lifting about 11 large elephants at once. The RH400 works in one of the toughest areas for digging on the planet, the Alberta oil sands in northwest Canada, and was designed specifically for that area. It's a very difficult material to, to dig. It changes its consistency uh, between the seasons. In the wintertime, it tends to break out into big pieces. That's difficult for the machine to handle, and in the summertime, the oil sand is like a, a putty and it's a very heavy push all the way through for the bucket to penetrate into the material. The RH400 is a key player in the excavation of these oily sands, but these operations are leaving a big environmental footprint. To get one barrel of oil, you need to mine two tons of tar sand, and the carbon dioxide emitted by the operation will total more than all of Canada's cars by 2011. In spite of this impact on the land, the digger does its job well, the keys to its success are the huge bucket and strong arms. They're powered by the digging world's largest hydraulic system. The RH400 is a hydraulic excavator, meaning it uses the power of hydraulic fluid, uh, fluid power, if you will, as opposed to a cable shovel, which uses cable or, or wire rope. The science of hydraulics is a very complicated thing, but I'm going to try and demonstrate it quite simply today. Here, we're going to show very simply how it produces a linear form of movement by simply creating pressure at one end and transmitting that via the fluid, the liquid, uh, to, to a cylinder there, which at the end of the cylinder creates the movement. So if I press here, I'm putting pressure on there, and that's being transmitted right down the tube, and there's the movement at the end, which could work a machine or, or, or whatever. Generally, the more hydraulic pressure a machine has, the more power it has. The RH400 can load one of the world's biggest trucks with only four scoops. You could compare the RH400 machine to a living entity. When you look at the life fluid as being the hydraulic oil, the heart of the hydraulic system would be the uh, hydraulic pumps. There's eight main pumps on the RH400, producing about 920 liters a minute. So it gives you a total flow or circulation of oil of about 7,500 liters a minute to move the bucket and boom attachment. Hydraulics is one thing. The RH400 has other impressive features as well. It's also very mobile compared to a lot of other machines. If it has to move to another part of the mine, there are hydraulic motors that work the tracks and they are relatively efficient and fast. Its tracks also self-regulate their tension when seasonal weather conditions change the consistency and firmness of the oil sands. Its disadvantage is that the hydraulics work under very high pressure, so therefore extreme safety precautions have to be taken whenever working on, on the maintenance of the machine. The RH400 can seem to do the impossible, and its hydraulic system is the digging world's most powerful but it's complicated and dangerous to service, too. For these reasons, this earth mover is bogged down at number four.